Like just the other day, I was looking at some things that I needed to apply to. And one of those examples that they were looking for, I just pasted my and immediately I got accepted, you know, like. Listen, this is one of those things on my channel where I tell you how to improve your life and what you should do X, Y, and Z to, you know, have it better in your life and you never listen for whatever reason. So I guess don't pay close attention to what I'm about to say. And for those of you who will, what I want to talk about in this video is the most important thing I think that every game developer and in general, every developer should have, and that is a blog or a website, your blog. Now, before you go all pessimistic and be like, well, not everybody knows how to code. I cannot create my website. I don't know HTML, blah, blah, blah. Well, you have a lot of websites nowadays that, you know, give you the drag and drop features where you can create a beautiful website in a matter of seconds, not minutes, but seconds. And a lot of those websites have a free plan where you can, you know, host your website for free for a certain amount of pages or a certain amount of uploads that you you know put on your website so don't worry about that you know you have something for free to get you started but essentially why do I think that is good for a developer to have a website nowadays especially because you know this is the age of videos videos is going to crush everything first things first if you want to people know you, if you want anybody to find you, you need something online. That can be a video, that can be a website. If you want to sell something, you also need, you know, people to find you and the thing that you are selling. And why I think it's much easier to do that with a blog than a video, because you are a developer, you're a game developer. When you go online and search for an answer, most of the times you are searching for a textual text-based answer. You're not searching for a video answer. And of course, I know we all watch tutorials, I create them, but at the end of the day, when you get past that tutorial thing, you want text, you want to copy paste a code, you want to do stuff like that. So that is why it's much more practical for a game developer to have a blog. Now, what should you write on that blog? Because not everybody wants to create tutorials, blah, blah, blah. Listen, you can create, especially if you're a beginner, this is what I advise a lot of beginners, my friends, to be precise, who are learning game development or programming in general, I tell them record your journey, your journey from, you know, being a complete noob, starting with, you know, C Sharp, Java, Unity, Unreal Engine, whatever, and record it. When I say record it, I don't mean with your phone. I mean record it, you know, write about it. And record your journey from, you know, not knowing anything towards what you will eventually become when it comes to that field. Because, you know, you can look back at that one thing as, uh, you know, a learn to see your learning journey people who are like you who are just starting out and doing the same thing like you they will definitely want to read about somebody's experience how what he did how he went from not knowing anything towards you know becoming something in that field so that's one large benefit why you should do it another thing is that website will be your portfolio so every project that you work on you will put there and i don't mean like every single one documented by the you know smallest details you can talk about what you're working, what you did, what you changed, which feature you added. You can, you know, add a link to your project. If it's a Unity game, you can embed it in your website using WebGL and stuff like that. So when you are applying for a job, you can always, you know, okay, this is what I did. As opposed to what a lot of people are doing, like, okay, this is my CV. Here is a zip file where you can download and go and play my game. No. You know, if you go on a job interview, nobody's going to download your zip file and play your game. But if you, you know, embed it on your website and you're like, this is my website, look at how it looks like. You're, of course, you're not going to say, look at how it looks like, but you know, this is what the, you know, job interviewer is going to think when you have a nice website, look at how it looks like. You can play the game directly over here. I can explain to you what I did. And even here is a blog post detailing how I created that game, the code that I used and stuff like that, which looks a lot more professional. And at the end of the day, for those people who are constantly finding any any reason not to do whatever they see fit or whatever advice they get, essentially time will pass by. No matter what you do, time will pass by. This is like two you know, fat people, two fat people, two fat persons, and I'm not, you know, bashing fat people. You know, I had 100 kilograms at one point in my life. What I want to say is if you want to cut weight, you have two people who want to cut weight. And one of them is like, okay, tomorrow I'm going to get it done. I'm going to start doing this, start eating healthy, start, you know, exercising and stuff like that. And the other will find excuses. Oh, 
uh, I cannot, uh, it's hard, it's that, it's blah, blah, blah. One year will pass by. The person who did, you know, commit to that will, you know, have now 70 kilograms. And the person who did not commit will stay the same or even have more than what he had a year ago. So essentially, one year from today will pass by. The question is where you want to be. Do you want to have something? Do you want to, you know, look back and see that you actually did something and left something behind that is useful for you, for other people? Or do you want to look back and, you know, see, okay, Netflix and whatnot and playing games and stuff like that. So that is up to you. But this is my two cents when it comes to something that can really, really help you. Like just the other day, I was looking at some things that I needed to apply to. And one of those, the examples that they were looking for, I just pasted my blog and immediately I got accepted. You know, like I just put my blog, the things that I did over there, a couple of posts detailing some stuff in regards to the game development and, you know, just straight out of, you know, I got accepted. So that's, you know, food for thought. And uh, the things that you see behind me, not here, but, but here, uh, I, I cannot orient myself on camera. Uh, in the previous video, somebody said, why don't you put whatever, I don't know, some, some light behind, it will grab attention. Well, I put my cleaning stuff behind, so let's see if that grabs attention. And uh, yeah, I don't have anything else to say, so I'm not going to say anything.